Yo, what's up, man, players? Man, talk 24-7 here, man. Going over my first ladders game of the year. Now, for people who are unfamiliar with ladders, you can't just sign up and play in the MCS tournament. They'll just let jokers, bums, anybody like that, man. What you can do is you sign up to play ladders. Now, in ladders, you have to have a good enough record in order to qualify for the single elimination tournament the very next weekend. So I was able to qualify in ladders and I'm posting all my ladders games and I'm also going to post my single elimination tournament games also. So I'm posting the good, I'm posting the bad, I'm posting the ugly, I'm posting all these games on the tube. Now, you can expect me to be a lot more active on YouTube, man. I'm starting to get everything down, starting to settle into a rhythm. And I have a trash talk video planned this week. Another one planned next week. I have so many things planned, man. I'm finishing up my offensive and defensive guys, man. I had to see if my scheme held up against top-tier competition before I just hand it off to you guys, man. I don't run anything that... No, sorry, sorry. I'm not posting anything that I'm not actively using. So all the things in my guides are what I run. Now, four from one, I just need a yard. I literally just need one yard. I easily beat him to the edge and I get tackled short. I get tackled short. So I'm just staring at my defensive plays in shock right now, wondering how did I not get that first down? Now, this dude, man, he was doing things that I've never seen before. And I I mean, I've never seen it, you know. The stuff that he was doing, man, I've never seen it before. You're going to see in the second half, he starts digging deep in his bag, revealing some tricks I've never seen before done on the football field, man. It honestly took me back to about 10 years ago playing NBA 2K. That's the best comparison that I have to what this guy was doing on the offensive side of the ball. Now, he had a very good short game. Now, here's this bum that invites me, bro. This bum, he's been running from me all year, only sends me invites when I'm in games or I'm busy or he tries to show off on stream like he's not a bum. But here we go right here, man. This was disheartening. This was honestly disheartening. Made me very upset. I mean, look at this. He gets hit stick by three or four people, somersaults into the end zone, and recovers his own fumble for a touchdown. He got eight points off of that, and that's just disheartening, man. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. I mean, this guy was good, but I think everybody can agree that that was a massive, massive bailout. I mean, I'm not even going to hold you, bro. That I mean, it was just crazy. So second down and 10, I start using Joe Montana's legs. I start taking off with Joe Montana because I'm like, if it's Joe Montana's season, if he can just run and get touchdowns, anything like that, then sign me up for it. Now I'm able to open up the wheel route, going for a touchdown, 14-14, and this is what I'm talking about. I've never seen this before. He's just jogging. He's just jogging, outrunning my entire team. Just jogging sideways, outrun six defenders, literally seven, eight. And Darrell Reeves is the only man who's able to tackle this fool. So I've never seen that before, man. Maybe that's a PS5 thing. Maybe it's a you got to be super duper good at the game thing. I've never seen it before. Was not ready for it. And I'm glad we were able to get the tackle. Now, we're down 21-14. I'm not feeling his last two drives, man. You know, I'm like, yo, how is he scoring on me like this? Third down and 15. I have to get the first down, and I slide at the very last second to get the first down, go over his head with the deep corner route, and at this point, he's on the short passes. I mean, I try to mix in a little zig. Fourth down two for the game. He just mauls X. He mauls him. We're able to hit OBJ for the check down. Now, that's an ugly play, man. That's an ugly play, but 
basically I'm trying to score so he does not have enough time left to score because um I mean it's pretty much self-explanatory I'm trying to score so he doesn't have time left to score now I'm out of timeouts right here ball has to go in the end zone I just throw it in the end zone I mean a ball had to go in the end zone he blitzed six people no he blitzed 10 people and he had a flat zone out there so we ran a a, a simple RPO slant and we're able to get the touchdown going to overtime. I'm not going for two because I honestly believe that if you're the better player, then you should be able to come out on top in overtime. Why would you just put the game into one play? I don't believe that with the new overtime rules. I'm guaranteed to touch the ball. So why not play a whole nother game? So here we go, man. Second down 10, we finally get some pressure. Tackle him. Third down 20, I'm putting everybody back deep because I'm not trying to have him pick up this first down. If he goes short, it's going to set up a very important fourth down where if we stop him, we only need a field goal. So I'm really not concerned. He's starting to dial up a dot, takes a timeout right there, comes out in a different play. He's like, okay, I got something for you. Motions out Christian McCaffrey. As I said, this guy has my respect. You know, he was able to make some key big time plays, throws a check down fourth and 14. And we hold him to a field goal. We hold him to a field goal. So that was a big time stop right there, man. At this point, touchdown wins the game. Touchdown beats him. Overtime thriller, my very first ladders game, man. As I said, I'm posting every single ladders game, man. It's going to take a lot to get rid of me, man. I have so many classic games on my laptop, but let's get back to the action that's on the screen. Now, I block everybody. You know, doing the little slide protection, ID in the mind, the linebacker, all the fancy stuff, you know, that typically gets edited out. But, you know, that's what I'm doing. I posted a game yesterday, man. This bum, he was upset that I called too many audibles. I've never seen that happen before. A guy upset that I get a delay a game penalty. I'm moving backwards and he's sending me messages complaining. So here we go, man. And this was set up by all the short passes, all the short passes, all the two-yard runs. There you see the defender runs straight to the flat. We go directly over his head, get a 35-yard gain, run no huddle. He's forced to take a timeout, man. We have all the momentum, and at this point, I clip it. I'm feeling excited. I'm sniffing my first ladder's win. It's right there for the taking. So we come out, man, wing pair. I'm like, man, why not hand the ball off to Adrian Peterson? We're able to get to the edge on Simmons this time. That time we get to the edge. We're able to get to the edge right there, run the ball again, juke him, and we walk in untouched for the game-winning touchdown. That's the ball game, man. Overtime thriller, man. GG's to this dude, man. Definitely has my respect outside of that Joe Montana touchdown, man, you know, that upset me, but we were still able to get the dub, still able to get the dub, and here's my Mutt team, man, um, as of November 1st, you know, this team is as current as it gets, if you see anybody who, uh, might not look like they're top tier. No disrespect because I got love for all my players, man. They're there for the 50 out of 50 most feared chemistry. So they're getting the plus two speed boost for everybody else, being team players, being good players in the locker room. But you see guys like DJ Jones and Billings and Walker, people like that, man. I have specialists, guys like Gravedigger, Miles Garrett. So I have better players so that the lower overall chemistry players are not seeing the field. So thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe for more videos, man. Everybody knows, man, I'm going to keep trying to post, finishing up my offensive and defensive guys. Those are going to be out this weekend. Thanks for watching.